Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we are in Karlovac, Croatia at the Homeland War Museum. The Homeland War is the name uh, in Croatia for what was essentially Croatia's War of Independence against Serbia. Sort of. It's complicated. This is the Balkans, so it's complicated. But uh, the museum inside has, it's a, on the small side, but it has a nice set of exhibits describing the history of the war, the, the lead up to the, the breakup of Yugoslavia and Croatia's subsequent independence movement. And they have a surprisingly nice set of small arms in there as well. But what we figured we'd give you a quick walking tour of is the outside exhibits, which are essentially an armor and artillery park. So we've got the first element right there, which is the remains of a shot down MiG-21. We'll see a, uh, a complete MiG-21 as well. But let's walk a quick circuit here of what they have outside. So a lot of the equipment that was used in the Homeland War well, it came from a couple of different sources. Most of it came from the Yugoslav National Army, the JNA, and they had a variety of equipment from basically World War II forward. So what we'll see here are a lot of World War II uh, vehicles and guns, and also a bunch of early Cold War, well, Cold War in general, Soviet equipment that the JNA got from various West, uh, Eastern aligned countries. For example, a BRDM-2, with a 14.5 millimeter KPV on it. Now, the Croatians had very little of their own domestic military equipment, and they were able to capture a bunch from Serbian forces, but they also had to sort of homebrew some of their own gear. And so they have three separate, uh, basically, homemade armored vehicles here. The first one built up on a tractor chassis, uh, you can see how the rear wheel is uh, larger than the front wheels. That's literally a farm tractor with a bunch of armor plate and an 8mm M53. That's, the M53 is the Yugoslav copy of the German MG42. We have one built on a small truck. I don't know exactly what model that was. Uh, and one built on a larger six-wheel truck, uh, which is also covered in bullet holes on the left side. These things absolutely saw combat action. and. Uh, and were useful. It's not like this stuff was made just for kicks or it was made and it, you know, just sat around. The, the Croatians were actually using this stuff because in many cases they didn't have anything better. Up here, of course, we have the complete MiG-21. You can see the Croatian crest insignia on it. Now we're getting to the artillery. We have a variety, well, a pair of uh, uh, rocket launchers, essentially simple unguided rocket tube artillery. Guns going back to, these are British World War II uh, anti-tank guns. In the years after World War II, the U.S. and the U.K. both gave a fair amount of military aid to Yugoslavia. Uh, it wasn't for a few years afterwards that uh, ten, you know, foreign relations would change, Yugoslavia would turn more towards the Soviet bloc, and then you'll see the Yugoslavs getting equipment from uh, the other half of Europe. Here we have an American M2, uh, 203 millimeter artillery piece. We have Russian, uh, a ZU-23s, and then right back to World War II, a German Flak 38. Like, you saw that in Saving Private Ryan, and yet here in the 1990s, back in combat use. Uh, some more, again, we have a mixture of Russian, uh, half of a, uh, an amphibious ferry vehicle, It'd be two of those that they would bolt together, and then American armored vehicles, and the next four of these are all Americans. A couple of M18 Hellcats, so again, literally World War II uh, production vehicles that came here as military aid after the Second World War, and eventually they get used in Croatia's independence. A Jackson, particularly neat here, a Sherman that literally fought at El Alamein for the British before being gifted to Yugoslavia and then taken by the Croatians. But, of course, there was also Soviet, more modern Soviet hardware, 
like T-55s. So it's very cool that the Homeland War Museum has this uh, all on display outside. As you can see, they keep it in remarkably nice condition. This isn't sort of your typical rusting into pieces uh, outdoor armor display. Can't get into any of the vehicles, which is unfortunate, but still very cool to see the, the wide variety of equipment that was actually used here. So like I said, there's a pretty cool small arms display inside, small but pretty comprehensive of what was used in this conflict. So if you're in Croatia, it's not that big of a country. We are about 40 minutes outside of the capital of Zagreb here in Karlovac. So if you have the opportunity, consider coming down and checking out the museum. Thanks for watching.